your hair morning guys welcome back to my channel so in today's vlog riley and i are gonna run you through our little morning routine um while we are still working from home and still doing nursery work from home so yes. we're both just wrapping up getting dressed um and he's already been downstairs and popped and stuff so we're just gonna brush his hair and then we're gonna head down and prepare breakfast on the table he's got a couple of slices of toast to some yogurt and some high juice and then we're gonna watch bing first watch thing in the morning bing. you ready to watch bing watch bing watch and bing normally bing. i'd bing. say it takes us like bing. 45 bing. minutes to an hour to get ready um and i can get ready <gasps> just before my husband heads out and right is still sleeping bing so now it's time for a little bit of tea. Bye. 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 I'm gonna have my breakfast after. I'm gonna check my emails first, and then I can have breakfast. So breakfast for me is super simple. I actually think I'm not really like a big breakfast person, but my husband is. And um, while I've been at home to make it easier, he just gets these little travel pots. Um, so I've got some syrup flavor in this one and it's not too bad it's like 249 calories but i'm not really calorie counting bit of actamel to start the day off and a glass of water and i'm good to go so you'd have noticed that when i was doing the toast i used these little bags so these are called toaster bags um, and they're reusable i think you can use them for like 50 times and you can kind of do toasty with it but we're also using it for like normal toast just because the breadcrumbs stay in the bottom so if you're about like cleaning hacks and you hate having to kind of empty out your toaster tray then this is perfect because it just catches everything and then after 50 uses you can get rid so one of the big big challenges that we're having at the moment with and still working from home not having gone back to nursery is that he just gets oh, really really bored and restless so I take quite a lot of breaks in between <laughs> to just do like a little bit of cuddle time and play so at the moment what are we going to play Riley are we going to play hide and seek yes please yes please um because normally if he was with friends and his own age group he would have so much more to do are you going to go hide Right, yes, mummy's gonna cover her eyes. Go hide. <laughs> One, two, three. Weather's been a bit crap, to be honest. So this morning I'll show you what it looks like in the garden. And we've got a pretty big garden. So as you can tell, he's got bouncy gods all there from the sunny days. Um, 
Ready am I? Here I come. I'm gonna go hide, okay? Close your eyes. <laughs> Count and I'm gonna go hide, okay? Close your eyes. Close your eyes, please. I'm watching you. Close your eyes. Because you took too long. <laughs> yeah, you took too long. Okay, then it's your turn now. Right, I'm gonna count and you go hide. I'm closing my eyes. Let's go back around. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so fun. that is hide and seek done. And we're just gonna do some quick colouring or something. Okay guys, so black I've pen. got black a pen. little folder, the black, black pen, okay I'll get it for you, a little folder of some of the stuff that we got from speech and language therapy, um, we've just got like a little learning pack with a few different Buddy. things, so this morning Riley's going to be doing my big wipe clean reading, aren't you? So we're really enjoying the alphabet and it's something we're really, really um, familiar with. But this is just practising our penmanship ahead of school in September. Do you want us to rub that out? Let's clean it first. And then Riley can do some new writing, okay? Okay, so I will probably um, do a proper sit-down video about our speech therapy journey, um, speech and language, and everything that we were doing before lockdown, um, preparing for school. So... Um, as you guys probably might have assumed, we're a bilingual family, so we speak in Dewele, and on average, I think they usually say that sometimes when um, children are in a bilingual home, sometimes there's a speech delay, and we've just been working on that. We've um, probably been on our journey for about a year, so I think it'll probably be nice to talk through what we do um, and some of the things a that kind of help to get Riley to express himself more expressively, if that's a thing. Um, but yeah, I'll do a sit-down video and just talk about our journey. But yeah, it's been really good, um, and... He is really advancing and kind of just being able to let you know how he feels. So he's got lots of information banks, but um, speech therapy was just a really good way for us to kind of zone in on the bits that were challenges and focus on that. You know, for me, it's been really hard trying to find that gap in a normal working day. So I'm still trying to work within sort of nine to five hours. And then obviously I still need to try and keep Riley on top of anything that he would have been learning before. And, Animal sounds. and balance that act and still do so many things around the house so i think the morning is probably the best time do morning and post bath time in the evening are like good times to just have like a bit of a sit down otherwise most of his playing throughout the day is independent led so it's really good so we're going to do this for a little while um and then once that's done we might try and squeeze in some coloring um then back onto the laptop and doing some stuff before lunchtime and we haven't had a mid-morning snack. Did you want a snack after drawing? No? Too busy concentrating. Okay, I'll let you get on.
out for him and he really just enjoys that um he's not having any tablet time yet but he's got it near him just in case so this is really good and i think my husband probably picked this up in poundland which is amazing we've also got the version to do with writing so i've got writing and reading because i really wanted to work on his tripod grip um just to get him ready for school and things like that and i was hoping to get him to school well kind of knowing how to write his name so we know how to spell our name and surname you know we know how old we are but i was hoping to get him to school writing his name so we're working on that the one thing that obviously wasn't a big hit for him is colouring um, and it takes us some time to get through our worksheets so like this is probably like 10 sessions because he just doesn't really enjoy the colouring and I find that actually that's what kind of puts him off and he just gets up and goes off to do his own thing so I'm really conscious that maybe that's something that we're just gonna have to make a bit more fun like you guys enjoyed seeing what we get up to my little morning as a mum of one but in particular obviously working from home full time um and under the lockdown circumstances and although they've eased here in the uk there's kind of some issues with like smaller towns so for example Leicester's back into lockdown measures um so in our household we're still kind of operating like we're pretty much in lockdown and I made sure that my husband and I had a conversation but we actually decided that he probably wouldn't go back to nursery so we're starting doing all our school prep for September um but we've just got it in our minds that until we know for certain the direction we're moving in um, locally and as a country we're probably better off staying at home with him but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed kind of sharing our morning and coming along with us it's really really simple um, and I feel like it's taken us some time to find our fit with Riley because we're normally um, straight out the house off to work off to nursery type of people so it's taken me some time to learn to break away and not feel guilty about work but um, any mums definitely pop some comments down below and give me some tips about how you're splitting your time if you're having to work from home or how you guys are managing stuff um, with lockdown measures wherever you are and working in family life balance thanks so much for watching guys and until the next video take care bye